Hello and welcome back to our new series where we learn about celebrities and their medical conditions that you didn't know about. Our topic last week was Gigi Hadid and Hashimoto's and today's celebrity topic is Selena Gomez. Who am I? My name is Dr. Oskan and I am a GP trainee in the UK and by the end of this video I promise you you will learn at least one thing that you didn't know. You might remember these photos of Selena having a kidney transplant, her recent TikTok video where we can see that her hand is shaking and her weight gain. So what condition does Selena have and why did she need this transplant surgery? Selena Gomez has a long-term condition called systemic lupus erythematosus, which is also commonly referred to as lupus. She was diagnosed with this in 2014 and has been raising awareness for it ever since. It's an autoimmune disease. And if you watch last week's video, you'll know that this means that the body's immune system attacks its own healthy tissue. And in lupus, this affects many, many parts of the body, some that are actually very surprising. So to explain how it all works, I'm going to get a little bit geeky and medical with you, but just bear with me because it will help you understand what's going on. In lupus, the body starts to recognize the cell's nucleus, which is basically the area of the cell that houses the DNA. And it recognizes it for some reason as a foreign body and starts to produce antibodies. Now you will know that antibodies are usually the body's way of fighting off viruses, bacteria, and fungal infections and so on. So clearly something is going wrong. These antibodies attach themselves to the cell components that they're attacking and form what we call an immune complex, which is just a fancy term to say that it produces this large ball of protein. And because these immune complexes are very big, as it's traveling around the blood system, it gets stuck in particular parts of the body and cause a cascade of inflammation, which ultimately affects the part of the body that it's got stuck in. So in Lupus, where do these get stuck? Well, they can get stuck in the kidneys and cause kidney damage. They can lodge themselves in patients' joints and cause immense joint pain. They can get stuck in the skin, and in particular, what we call a butterfly or a malar rash on the face. It can also affect the heart, so it causes inflammation of the sac that contains the heart. And it can also cause lots and lots of changes to the patient's blood, making them anemic. As you can see, the symptoms are vast, and it seems that in Selena's case, it's mostly affected her kidneys and her joints. But there is also one symptom of lupus that I haven't mentioned that she has had recently that is very interesting. So you might not know, but Selena's dad is Hispanic and this has a huge impact on her lupus because we know through recent research that Hispanic patients that have a lupus have a higher risk of having kidney damage as a result of their condition. So as you know, the kidney is what filters our blood essentially and remove any excess components of the blood, which when it's built up, it can be very harmful. So when your kidneys are damaged, you have two options. You either go through dialysis, which is where they hook you up to a machine that takes over the function of the kidney, essentially filtering the blood for you, or you get a kidney transplant, which is where somebody donates their kidney to you. And this is exactly what Selena did. In fact, it was her friend, actress, Francia Risa, who donated her kidney to Selena in 2017. However, this will mean that Selena will need to be on medications for the rest of her life. Reason being is that because this kidney did not come from an identical twin, her body will start to recognize it as a foreign object because it's not her kidney. So she'll need to take medications that will dampen down her immune system and stop it from a attacking her new kidney. And this what brings us to this recent TikTok video where she's applying makeup and we can see that her hands are very shaky. A few of her followers picked up on it and wrote in the comments and Selena replied saying, laugh out loud, I shake because of my medication for lupus. Also read my disclaimer, I ain't no pro. This shaking that we can see in the video is likely coming from one of two medications, either the medication that she's using to dampen her immune response to treat her lupus, or a different medication that she's using to stop her body from rejecting her new kidney. Either way, these particular medications have lots and lots of side effects. And unfortunately, one of the ones is tremors. Now, there's been a documentary where Selena has spoken very openly about her lupus, amongst other things, including her mental health. In this documentary, we can see her getting very teary, where she's talking about the pain that she's going through as a result of her lupus affecting her 
her joints and her body in general. And I think this documentary does a lot, not just highlighting and raising awareness for lupus, but also showing the public that not every condition is visible to the eye. And I think it's always useful to keep that in mind. Now to the not so common symptoms of lupus. Lupus surprisingly has a whole range of psychiatric symptoms that it can present with, such as mood disorders, anxiety, and psychosis. In fact, Selena had an episode of psychosis in 2018, which led to the diagnosis of bipolar. Now, it isn't known if this was directly related to her lupus or it was a whole different condition in itself, but we do know that those who suffer from lupus do have a higher risk of having these mental health issues. She was reported to be suffering from auditory hallucinations, which is the medical term we use to describe hearing voices. And she said that she was admitted to a facility where she was on medication to overcome this issue. So a little general information about lupus. We can often diagnose it by trying to pick up those antibodies that I described at the start of the video. In addition to having out four out of 11 known symptoms of lupus, patients are often advised to avoid sunlight where possible as it is known to exacerbate particularly the skin manifestations of lupus itself. And unfortunately, it is a lifelong condition and there is no cure, but there are treatments that patients go on to help keep them in remission and they can do this by using things like steroids and eventually going on medications that dampen their immune system. I really want to applaud Selena for being so open and vulnerable in her recent documentary. It really sheds light on conditions such as lupus that are not widely known by the public and also on mental health and mental health issues that for some reason can still be a taboo subject to talk about in this day and age. She is inspiring others and encouraging those who are living with chronic conditions such as hers. So in today's video, we summarize Selena Gomez and lupus. Don't forget to check out last week's video and Gigi Hadjid and like the video if you want to see more celebrities and the medical conditions that you didn't know they had. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as a viewer and you can follow me on all the other socials which I'll link below and I'd love to see you in my video next week. Bye!